Have you ever seen this small six pin IC on a power board and wondered what it actually does? This tiny component holds the power to safely control 220 volt EC appliances using just a tiny low voltage signal. Today I'll show you exactly how it works, how to test it with a multimeter and why it's always used with a triac in real world circuits. So welcome to the episode number 33 where I'm going to teach you in details how to test a 6-pin optocoupler or opto-isolator with multimeter. So let's dive in. By the way, for anyone who want more unique content and download free schematics, you can join me in my Patreon page, the link in the description. So as always, we are gonna begin with the theory part and we will begin with the definition and identification. So the 6-pin optocoupler, also called an optical isolator, its job is to isolate the low voltage control circuit like from an Arduino or microcontroller from high voltage EC side. So inside an optocoupler we find an infrared LED on the input side and a phototriac detector on the output side. So basically it lets light do the talking instead of electricity which makes your circuit safe and noise free so before diving into testing let's talk about working principle when you apply a small dc signal about 1.2 volt to 1.5 volt to the input led pins pin 1 for anode and pin 2 for cathode the LED emits infrared light. That light is detected by the internal phototriac in pin 4 and 6. Once triggered, the phototriac switches on and can control another main triac, which in turn switches the high voltage EC loads, like a lamp, a fan, or a motor. So guys, remember, always to discharge and isolate before testing. Of course, always we discharge any board or switch mode power supply by discharging the big capacitors in the input, electrolytic capacitor. So the first step before we use the multimeter and test is to identify the pins. So basically, do you say guys, here we have this dot or this point means this is the pin number one. So before diving into this thing, remember you have first to locate the pin out. So do you see this point here? Here also means this is the pin number one, pin number two, three, four, five, six. The same for this one, okay? The reading in this direction, counterclockwise. Please, before diving into the course, we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video, PCBWay. PCBWay offers many services, ranging from PCB production and assembly to 3D printing and a variety of materials. CNC machining, sheet metals fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCB way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB way. Now back to the video. The pin number one is the anode or input LED plus. The pin number two is for cathode input LED minus. The pin number 3 not used or not connected. The pin number 4 and pin number 6 is for output triac terminals. And this pin in the middle means the pin number 5 also NC, no connection, not used. Now let's test the LED first. The first test, 
So after we understand the optocoupler pinouts, the step two is to test the LED side. So let's set the multimeter to the diode option. Okay, diode option. Then let's put the read probe in the pin number one, means the anode, and the black probe in pin number two, or the cathode. Do you see? We get ready about 400. This is good. Sometimes in some multimeter, you can get a drop voltage about 1 volt to 4 volt. So remember, if I reverse the probes, means the black probe in the anode or positive side or LED plus and the read probe in the cathode, it reads up line. You see, open means the diode inside the optocoupler is good. So if you get a short or open both ways, means the LED inside is damaged. So the step three, we will test in the step three the output side. So let's make it like this. So remember, here we have pin number one, two, three, guys, the same, the same reference. So one, two, three, we have four and we have six. We will use pin number four and pin number six because this is the output side. So remember the rule is with no input applied to the optocoupler, pin number four and pin number six should show open line, no ready. So let's check one probe here in the pin number four, another probe here in the pin number six. Do you see guys? No, no ready. Open means this is good because no voltage or input is applied to the optocoupler. To get a reading here in the output between pin number four and pin number six, you have to apply a test current to the input pin number one and pin number two with a diode tester or external power plus series resistor about 330 ohm. After that, the multimeter will show between pin number four and pin number six a continuity or a low resistance because in that case the LED is on. But if you apply a test current and you didn't get here no continuity or, or low resistance means no switching means faulty optocoupler. This test is just to confirm 100% if the optocoupler is good or not. So now let's pass to the applications. Always pair it with a TREAC for controlling AC loads. If you pay attention, always the optocoupler is near of a triac we have basically here as you can see bta08600 this is basically a triac near of the optocoupler so the optocoupler always paired with a triac for controlling ac loads common uses light dimmers fan motor speed control ac lamp switching home appliances like washing machine microwave ovens etc and industrial controllers for ec relays and heaters whenever you see safe switching of 220 volt appliances by a tiny microcontrol pin there is almost always an optocoupler like the moc to see 41 that we study here hidden insights here is some highlights and tips never test this always check the input forward voltage of the led before assuming the chip is dead the optocoupler is a zero cross type if you need random phase triggering use other models always use optocoupler with a series resistor on the input LED side. On the output side, it cannot drive loads directly. It only triggers 
a triac or similar device. So now you know about a six pin optocoupler, especially for this one here, MOC2341, that is a bridge between your tiny Arduino signal and powerful AC loads, making your circuits safe and reliable. If this breakdown helped you, hit that like button and share it and by the way you can join me on my patreon page for more unique content and free schematic downloads link is in the description see you in the next episode with another component